turgor pressure. Turgor pressure is a process that plants use that utilizes the cell structure and the process of osmosis and the movement of water to keep a plant tall and upright and healthy like this plant right here. And so think of the plant as a basically a simple straw. And if we have a straw and we put that straw into a glass of water and you suck on the end then you know that you fill up the straw and water will come out the end. And that is essentially what a plant is doing. The plant is pulling in water from the ground, not through the air. So the rain falls down on the ground, water then goes up, and the plant is filled with straws called xylem. And those straws go from the roots up through the stem, up through the leaves, and then into the leaves. And at the bottom, <coughs> of the underside of the leaves of most plants is a little opening, just a little hole, called a stomata. And that's where the water comes out, and it comes out as vapor, as water vapor, but it's still water. And so the water goes in and comes out this way, and the water is used, hopefully you remember, that the water is needed in photosynthesis. And um, the, so the water comes out and is released into the atmosphere. And so if the plant, and this happens simply by there's less water in the air out here, and so it diffuses out and evaporates out. And as it does, for every water molecule that leaves, if there's an unbroken line of water molecules down through here, and those water molecules are all attracted to each other because there's a bit of a positive and a negative charge on them, so they stick together, then as one leaves, then that is like sucking on the straw. So instead of um, a mouth sucking on the straw, it's just the atmosphere sucking on the straw and pulling those water molecules out. And so what happens is if the water runs out in the ground, then our plant wilts and it gets all saggy and it looks like this because it has run out of water. And what's really happening is that inside the cell, so let's draw a plant cell, we'll make it a nice square brick. They're not really like this, but we're going to make it look like a brick. And when they're full of water and they're filled with water, the vacuole fills up with water and that vacuole exerts pressure on the outside of the cell and that's called turgor pressure. And so those cells then, if there's lots of water in there, then they are like a brick wall that is tightly fit together. And those cells are packed together nice and tight. And so if there's all this water in there, then there's pressure from inside the cells pushing out on all the cells. And so they're, the cells are literally pushing against each other. And by doing this, they are making a brick wall that is very solid and tight. And the cells are all different sizes and shapes, but we're going to draw them as kind of rectangles here. And so this is a plant that plant that has a high amount of water in it and high turgor pressure is going to be very stiff and rigid. So think of a piece of celery that's been sitting in water; it's going to you're going to snap when you when you break it. Now, if you lose all that water, so now our cells they kind of become concave and they shrink in. Now they have a cell wall, so they can't shrink down to nothing, but they kind of look like this when they're all pushed together. And that's because the water, now we just have a little bit of water in there. And so now we have all this empty space right here between the cells. And so now it's like a brick wall that isn't put together very well, and the, they're just loosely stacked on each other.
and this is a plant with low turgor pressure so it's a plant that looks like this and this is a plant with high turgor pressure and it looks like this so this would be a plant that is dehydrated it's lost all of its water so the cells are not pressing tight against one another and so imagine a piece of celery that's been sitting out at a on a vegetable tray for a day and now it's all soft and limp and when you go to break it and bend it it doesn't it doesn't snap it just bends and bends in half and that's because it's dehydrated it's lost its turgor pressure and the cells have lost the water and so now the cells are loosely fit together as opposed to when there's a high amount of water and they're tightly packed together